seven friends. Welcome to the Joy Stamping with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's Fun Fold Friday. Today I'm making a fun peekaboo corner card using some celebration paper and a new stamp set. Go to hold, I'll flip, and we'll get started. All right, see everything okay? So the, today's card is super fun and has a little bit of layers to it that make it 3D and pop out. This would be a great card to hand deliver or to lay down flat when you guys send it in the mail. Super fun, and we're using a newer stamp set called the Sweet Strawberry. I'm using the thank you, and that was so sweet of you. Be sure to comment in today's live. You might be the lucky one that gets our card that I make today. Um, the paper we're using is a celebration paper, and we only have about two more weeks worth of celebration. This paper, you can find the celebration. Oh, let's see if we focus in the back of this catalog. And it's a $100 item, but it comes with a stamp set and the paper. Let me show you two real quick right here. It's called the Very Delightful Designer Series Paper, and I have been loving this paper. You probably are sick of me showing it, but I love it. And it'll be gone soon, so I have to show it as much as I possibly can. Um, I did want to show you this cute little box also that I use making the paper. I have a tutorial that goes out to free to anyone who orders from me this month of how to make this really cute little box that you can put candies or whatever you like in it. All right, let's go ahead and start making today's card. I've used this as a poppy parade as our card base, and it's one of our regular sizes, so nothing crazy like that. It's our five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So that's our typical, but I'm going to turn it this way so it's so it's horizontal in the looking like that. And then I have a four by five and a quarter piece of whisper white or basic white, depending on what you have in your craft room currently. And then we have a three by four of basic white. And our DSP is measures the same size as our white um, for the inside, which is the four by five and a quarter. I also have this little cute peekaboo corner for the inside right here where I've put some DSP. And when I made this card, I took the 12 by 12 piece of DSP and I cut it to make two cards, which gave me about an this let's see an inch and a half of extra of dsp so i just cut that down and used it for the inside of the card so it's that side on the other side all right and since our dsp is so pretty we do love to show off both sides of it whenever possible which isn't always the case let's go ahead and get our stamping in i'm using the shaded spruce today which is a very dark green very pretty and it's not like the mossy meadow mossy meadow is also a dark green this one has a little bit more of a richer color to it so what we're going to do is go ahead and stamp that was so sweet of you on our three by four piece of white paper let me grab my foam mat real quick just so i don't have any oops stamping Let's see if you can get that right there and if i do mess up the great thing is i could always flip over this piece of paper but we're going to put that in the very top corner We'll ink it up all nice, right about there, and press. Oh, that turned out great. No flipping that. That looks awesome. All right, well, we have this out. Let's get the inside as well. And we're just going to put thank you. And this really cool thought font. Let me see if you can see that a little bit better. I love this thank you. It looks like my handwriting almost. Kind of sloppy, but still able to read it. And it's super fun. We'll go about center for that one. Perfect. We'll put this away so we don't make any messes later on. Okay. Next, we can go ahead and add this to the inside of our card. Let me go ahead and grab our stamping seal. I'm just going to put, let me roll it. This is a brand new one. So let me roll it first and put a little bit on. There we go. Just like that for the inside. I know we're going kind of backwards in the inside 
first, I just don't want to forget it this time. I'll put this strip right in here as well. That fits perfectly. Oh, look, maybe I should switch sides. It's, I had a green, a green thumb. I wonder if it's too late. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll have to double side that one or put a little bow or something. That's okay. This is the second time. I'm so inky. I apologize to whoever this gets this card. You will know that there's a hidden spot underneath that. All right, we'll keep it going though. I wish I had a wipe to try to, we'll try to ink that off a little bit. Okay, so for the inside, hopefully we don't get it too messy. Let's go ahead and put some liquid glue on the back of this one. And we're gonna try to match this up to this corner over here. What we wanna pay attention to is our borders. We wanna have just a little bit on each of these sides here. Just about like that. And I'm using that liquid glue so I can move this one a little bit easier until I know it's where I think it should be. Next, we're gonna take our bone folder and decide which corner we are going to put for over here. Let's go ahead and use this side here. We're gonna flip it over, take our bone folder and our thumb, and we're gonna put it on our paper and just kind of start to curl it just like that. And just do it a handful of times just to start that curl. Can I see that right there? That's how our curl's coming up. I'll just do a little bit more just so I can break these fibers up just a little bit. Okay. Now it looks like it's going to roll for us pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and put some glue on here, but we don't want to put any glue in that corner. So I'm going to go from corner to corner and kind of fill it in like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place it. So it, this is going to cover this area that we just stamped because we want it to look like it's going over it and look pretty centered as we're doing it. And cover that. There we go. And make sure we smooth it out. Then let's grab our glue dot. I'm gonna put a glue dot right here, very end. All right. We're going to try to just kind of fold it back. If you wanted to send this in the mail, which is this was this one's going to go in the mail. This one I'll probably hand deliver. You would probably go ahead and crease it right here. So that way it would lay flat. And also it wouldn't have this awesome wave, but it still has a little bit of curl to it. And that glue dot's keeping it down right there. That's the way it will ship a lot easier. Looking awesome. All right, let's bone fold this one and then we'll set it aside and I'll show you how to make that awesome 3D strawberry. Um, and we need to embellish this as well. Let me grab, sorry, it's being loud. There we go. A champagne rhinestone because I don't drink champagne, but I imagine it would probably taste really good with strawberries. Awesome. Okay. So for our 3D strawberry, let me show you how to make that. You're going to go ahead and punch on a about a one and three four strip of the Poppy Parade, and you'll have it stamped three times at least to make this one. Then you'll grab your builder punch, strawberry builder punch, sorry, and we'll go ahead and insert that, and we would punch out three of these, just like so. And you make sure you give yourself enough spacing so that way the strawberries next to it won't be affected by the builder aspects of this punch. So just like that, we punched out a strawberry, but I have three all ready to go. You'd also wanna grab that shaded spruce, the same color as our ink, and make some of the little stems. This one I didn't stamp, there is a stamp for it, but I just went ahead and skipped that step for this one. I did, however, went and I scored all of the centers of these ones just like that. You see that? I just took it to my paper trimmer and lined it up in the middle and held it down nice and scored it. Let's go ahead and fold those in half, all three of them. And we're gonna start attaching our glue. And I just used liquid glue for this. You want to attach to end to end. And if I were to do this with six strawberries, this would make a full strawberry size. However, we're just doing the three so that way we can put it onto our card front. We'll put some glue on this side as well and attach our other one. And that's the awesome thing about these punches is that the shape of it is fairly similar. So it's easy to, to make this awesome strawberry. Okay, look at that. Oh, I love it. 
turned out great. We just need to add our stem. For this process, I went ahead and didn't score it at all, but I just kind of start to fold it. I'm gonna leave one at the very tip of this stem here, and the other two I'm gonna cut off. This one will be our center of our strawberry. I'll go ahead and kind of lay it flat, and then just insert it in there. See that? All right, make focus a little bit better. Okay, because we're using liquid glue, you'll have to give yourself a little bit of dry time and kind of pinch it down a little bit more so. Let's go ahead and grab my paper snips and we'll cut off the tops of these ones and glue them on. If you're worried about the strawberry staying on, you could always use a stronger adhesive for the inside. I think I just used liquid glue and just let it dry. So let's go ahead and put this one in there too. Make that cute little stem, the green part. I love these strawberries. I think they're perfect for Valentine's and they're also great for this upcoming um, spring season. I think it says spring like yummy, delicious strawberries. All right, let's go ahead and put some liquid glue on the back side of this and then we'll just lay it flat onto here and I'll just hold it there for just a couple seconds and that glue should pick up on it just fine and there we go we have an awesome peekaboo corner and a 3d strawberry on our fun fold card today I hope you guys had a great time watching and have learned something new happy stamping everyone and have a great weekend goodbye